Hey, what's up guys? Solium reached out to me and sent me this camera for free to do an honest review. This is the Spotlight Camera S100. So this is solar powered. It's completely wireless actually, so you could pretty much install it anywhere that you get a wireless signal. So this uh, wireless, it connects to your router and you could view it online. So let's actually open this up. And if you guys are wondering, it's IP66 weatherproof. So it could be under the rain and has two-way audio. So it kind of looks like an airplane, which is kind of cool. So you get your manual for setup and stuff, how to do that. Warranty policy, covered for 12 month full replacement warranty. So you get your micro USB cable to a USB-A. Not sure what this is yet. This might be to plug in the USB to that, to have this on. So here it is. This is the camera. So you have four lights, camera. I think this is the sensor when it detects motion. That's where you're gonna put your antenna. So solar panels are built in. It looks kind of cool. I actually like the way it looks. And uh, yeah, so this is the bottom. So you have your micro USB there. You can put an SD card in there and there's a whole power and reset there as well so that's that this is pretty much what you use to attach it to the wall so it looks like four screws obviously hollow inside and i'm assuming yeah okay so you have a decent amount of leeway on where you want to install it and tighten it too so that looks good so this obviously tightens on the camera as well so this is your antenna to connect to your wireless router so this obviously goes here like I was mentioning and looks like it comes with some screws just kind of fell out and stuff so it comes with four screws and four of these little anchors and yeah that's pretty much it so going to the Google Play Store you type in Solium install that few moments later alright guys so I'm gonna put the camera up there I will angle this so you guys can see that the cool thing is it did come up with these pre-cut drill holes which this is a sticker so I'm just gonna put the sticker up there and you just need a drill with a drill bit and a Phillips screwdriver and you're good to go so let's get started screws actually broke so partly my fault because I didn't drill exactly in the center I it was still pretty centered so I'm kind of still surprised it broke but the screws are the screws feel cheap so I got thicker screws so I'm just gonna put these thicker screws in luckily it fits just fine <laughs> So two weeks have gone by since I've installed it and the reason why I wanted to wait to see if the battery was going to last because it is a solar powered unit. It's something you could literally install anywhere you want as long as you have Wi-Fi coverage and it's easy to install because all you really have to do is just screw it into the wall and you're good to go, right? You don't need to run power cables. You don't need to run Ethernet. You don't need to run any cables of any kind. So that's basically its beauty. But if it's something that I have to take down to charge all the time or just plug in a USB and leave that in, then that defeats the purpose. So I'm like, you know what, let me just wait. Let me see what happens. So luckily in the last two weeks, it's actually been cloudy. It also rained. Granted, it was also sunny for a few days as well. And it's been good. I didn't need to take it down or anything like that. And yeah, it, it works fine. So battery is good. Um, now let's talk about some of the pros and cons. So it's well integrated. It looks like an airplane. It, it just kind of makes sense the way they place the solar panels. It, it just kind of makes sense. And as far as video quality, video quality is normal for a security camera at that price. Now don't expect something that's like 
4K quality that's like superb quality or a camera that's recording at 1000 frames per second and you can literally see everything. No, you're not going to get that unless you're spending a lot more money. This is something that live view is normal. You could see what's going on. It's pretty clear to see what's going on. Uh, can you make out everyone's faces? You know, if they come close enough, then look at the camera, yes. But if they don't, if someone's just walking down the sidewalk, no, you can't really make out their faces. Unless you recognize them, then you could pretty much, oh, you know, that's, you know, my dad or whatever walking there, right? So then that's easy. But if you don't recognize the person, then no, you can't make it out. Which brings me to my, you know, some of the reasons you get a security camera, right? One of the reasons is for live view. Uh, number two is just to see what's going on. Number three is to deter thieves. Number four is in case something happens, you have footage. And there's probably a few other reasons as well, but those are the main reasons that at least popped up into my mind just now. Now, if you're getting this to deter thieves, you know, it probably will deter them because if they see a camera, they're less likely to do something. But it's not out of the question, especially if they come wearing a hoodie, especially if it's dark, uh, especially if they don't look directly at the camera, then it's going to be very hard to detect their face. So I want to say that, you know, when you're getting something like this or any other really security camera, because I did the Ring People camera uh, a while back and it was basically saying the same thing where don't expect bank level security, uh, you know, from something like this. This is just normal quality you could see what's going on you could make out the cars you know the license plates if they're moving you probably can't see it but if someone's coming in your driveway you could see the license plate so it's just normal quality 1080p that's pretty much what it is now uh, the cool thing is it does have micro SD card uh, storage which means you could store locally they also have a cloud service and I believe they have either a 30 day free trial they also sometimes give a one year free trial if you get lucky enough and it shows up in the booklet at the back it says surprise I however didn't sign up for their cloud storage I just like the fact that there's local storage and it's fine for me for now I might sign up for cloud service later on but for now I am good now can you look at those can you look at that stuff yes you can access the app from anywhere you can look at the footage from anywhere you can click on in fact, I can even show you guys. You could pretty much click on the videos. So when you load the camera, this is this is what shows up. And you know, you could obviously full screen this thing. You could you could make this smaller. So when you put on HD mode, it shows you the 1080p. So this is live view. This is what's going on right now. You could see the little you know date timestamp up on the top left. 1080p on the top right so you could see a car is coming can you make out its license plate no you can't make out its license plate you can also take you can also capture the screenshot you can also you know turn on the sound so you could hear what's going on you can also hit the mic button I didn't give it permissions on this case I turned off my permissions but you can do two-way talking which I'll show you guys an example of that When's the cyber truck coming out? Cybertruck. And you know, video, record this, and then for cloud, uh, so this is cloud storage, and this is uh, regular storage. So you could see like activity detected at 1604. So if I click on that, it's asking, it's gonna load that from the micro SD card and push it to my phone, and you could see that oh, it detected a car was passing by, and so I recorded that. And then if you want to just go back, you, you know, just go back and then click on the camera again. It always defaults to SD viewing. But if you click on it, it goes back to HD. Then you see the little 1080p on the top right. Now, as far as settings are concerned, you get a few settings. So I have it on memory card mode. I have cloud video off. I mean, you have to sign up for it anyways, even if I did have it on. So I have an 8 gig, 8 gigabit memory stick in there, a uh, micro SD card. It takes up to 128 gig. Uh, you could flip the image, which is always nice. Uh, scene mode, I found night vision mode works the best at night, so I just kind of left it in that mode. The detection sensitivity is on high right now. So, detection sensitivity, let me talk about that. 
Does it detect stuff? Yes, it detects cars under high. It also detects people, people not so well. So they're kind of walking, 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 and then towards the end of the sidewalk, right before they're about to get out of view, then it detects them. So again, because it's farther away, if it was closer, it'd have a higher chance of detecting them. But because it's farther away, it, it more easily sees cars than people. So active time means how long it's recording. I just left it in 15 second increments. So when it detects something, it records for 15 seconds. Power frequency, I just left it on 60 hertz. It gives you two options, but typically it's 60 hertz, so I just left it on that. And LED, you could turn it on, on, on or off. I just left it on. Uh, synchronization synchronizes the time with your phone, which I've already done. And you could call it, you could call it something else if you want to call it. Uh, I just called it front door. So yeah, and you could do a firmware update. It's already up to date, so good to go. So those are basically the options. And it's pretty responsive. It loads fairly quickly. So it's, it's good to go. All right, so let's jump into cons. Two out of the four screws snapped. Now, I was putting it inside wood. So obviously, if it's going in a little bit of a softer area, or if it's going in its own anchor, or if it's, you know, it, or if I made the hole maybe a little bit bigger, uh, but I just, I, I feel like I made it big enough for it to be, for it to still be tight so it won't, you know, get loose and stuff. So yeah, I don't know. But once I brought the bigger screws in, it was no problem. I didn't have to drill new holes in the actual holder itself. So yeah, so I just brought new screws and then I just, thicker screws and I put them in. So that would be one area that I could see an improvement. I don't think it's gonna happen to everyone, but it did happen to me, so I am sharing that. Overall, pros definitely outweigh the cons, especially for the price. I will put product links in the description below as well. As always, thank you guys for watching, and thank you to all my current subscribers, and if you guys have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment sections below.